Hey guys, Quinn here again from Durban Micrographics, application engineer. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create a 3D Renoir model using our existing model that I created last time in Fusion 360 and exported out as a STL. But we're going to be jumping to another piece of software called Mesh Mixer. So this is what we're going to do everything in. Now, so what we're going to need to firstly do is let's toggle on the wireframe so we can see what's going on. You can go view and show wireframe or just click the W button. So now we can take a look at what our view is going to look like. As you can see, it looks really messy. So we're going to have to quickly sort this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go control A to select everything. Then I'm going to go edit and we're going to go remesh. Now we're going to wait a little while. Just a bit of a heads up, the, um, the, the more triangles in a model, the longer this is going to take. Unfortunately, it's just one of those things. So um, you're either going to have to be very patient or you're going to have to have a bit of a beefy system. Like I said, this may take a little while. Okay guys, and we're back. So, that took a little while to do. Like I said, it's very dependent on your system, um, how long it's gonna take, and also how complex the model is. So either you're gonna need good system or patience. So, carrying on, Next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to then go back to our selection. You can accept by the way on that menu if you wanted to, or you could just click off like I just did. Now we're going to produce. Now you'll see why this is important in a second, because the larger these little triangles, the kind of the bigger the Verona pattern of it is going to be. So, if we expand it, it's going to be nice and large. And then we can click Accept. Okay guys, now that it's finished generating the mesh, we can see what it now looks like. Just be aware that once it's done this, I is going to be a little bit deviated off the original so you're going to have to play a fine balancing act between how close this reduced mesh actually matches your original intent it should be pretty close but of course the bigger you make these the less accurate it's going to be it also may deform a bit you may want to play around the settings that being said let us actually get on to the actual generation side so we're going to click on the edit we're going to go to make pattern as you can see it looks like our model is going to warp speed that's because our pattern is in tile tubes use a drop down we can then change it to dual edges and you can already see the nice little uh, model that's been created for a diagram very nice sorry not diagram model so in here we're going to go and we're going to make sure first that this clip surface is not on. <laughs> that, 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 yeah, that always gets me. Sometimes it turns on and I forget about it. That's going to basically create issues for us. Now, if I take a look at my model, it looks a little bit quite thick. So let me reduce my element dimension. This is probably one of the most important ones. The rest I'd say leave as is. You can play around with them and see what their results on. But for here, I'm not going to worry too much. They, they, they'll slightly change the look of it and I'm gonna click accept I am warning you though this may take a while depending on your machine once again it's machine dependent or patience dependent and it may take a while if you do have a crash while it's trying to mesh it etc it means it doesn't like the mesh you're gonna to have to go back just remesh it again using the same uh, steps that we did previously and yeah then repeat the process Unfortunately, it is kind of a hit and miss thing sometimes, especially when you're working on a, some strange models. 
part of the reason why I've picked this one is because it was giving issues, so I could show you guys what the end result was. That's it. Skipping ahead. A few moments later. Okay, there we go. So, at the end, there is where our model came to. Looks quite good. Looks very organic. It may take you a few tries to get it right, but hey, sometimes it's worth the wait. Well, hope this has been helpful to you guys. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. Yeah, otherwise, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Cheers, eh? Bye.